Okay, welcome to this Banished tutorial. And Banished is one of the most intensive resource management games I have ever played. This is really not for the faint of heart. So I've actually, it's really easy to make a mistake and then that's it, game over. Your whole town dies out and then you have a ghost town. And I can't tell you how many times I've done that because I wasn't paying attention to a particular resource. Next thing you know, everybody's starving or freezing and it's game over. Everybody's taking dirt naps and that's not what you want. So I'm going to kind of go through this and show you what you need to do to survive and not to panic. I, I panic a lot when I play this game. So the main thing is don't panic. Um, you have to just, like I said, it's very intense on the resources. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Now you're gonna first open up and you're gonna well actually let me let me back up. Let's open hit this gear icon here and we wanna create three windows that we wanna keep open the entire time. This is the jobs window, very important. You can see we start out with ten laborers and we're gonna give them assignments very quickly. We're not gonna linger on that one. Then what you want is the materials window, and this also tells you the seasons of the year, all that stuff. Another important one to have open. And finally, we want the events, whoops, no. We want the events log. This tells us tells us if somebody died, if there's a, a disease, something like that. Okay, now, next, this is the most important thing. You need food and you need it fast. So the first thing you wanna do is click on this little apple icon and then go to the far left and we're gonna make a crop field. It's always gonna be seven by seven, that's the key and you put it really close to your farm because you want them to be able to fill the farm up. That's where these supplies for the crops are stored. If I can get, I never, you know, I always have a problem with this. Seven by seven, that's what you want. That equals one farmer. Now, once you get that field laid down, you're not done. You have to click on this little dot here and assign a particular item. Good, we got potato and wheat, those are good ones. Let's go with potato and we're not done yet. So now, that's all you really have to do. Once you determine the crop, then you have to assign a farmer. This is why we want this jobs window. Now we've got 10 laborers out. You can see they're collecting resources, but now we need to go ahead and assign a farmer. And then you're gonna see a guy come over here now and start to work out, work on this field. Now, this is critical. Food is very important early on. You do not want to linger on that topic. It is important to get these fields out like I said, I want to make this seven by seven. You, if, by the way, if you're putting the field down wrong, you can always right click and that will, uh, that will end it. So there's another crop, good. Let's go ahead and assign wheat this time. You kind of want to mix up your crops. That keeps your, your, um, your, your labor, your, your whole civilization, all your people happy. Now we have to go down and assign a second farmer. Remember, one seven by seven field equals one farmer. That's the way it works. Okay, we're gonna continue on. Let's go ahead and put down an orchard. You wanna do at least one orchard in the beginning. Like I said, you want variety, that's the key. So again, we click on this, and it's a little bit different. We only have chestnuts, that's fine. We'll do chestnuts now, and there's a massive plane, by the way, coming over my house, of course, as I'm starting this recording. Massive jet, never sees them to amaze me. Okay, let's go a third farmer. There we go. Okay, and we're not stopping. Like I said, I like to get six fields out in the beginning, six of them, because you do not want to run out of food. All right, good, good deal. All right, so let's go ahead and get another crop going. We'll do potatoes again, and let's get yet a fourth farmer. There we go, and they're doing their thing. Good. All right, so now we're going to continue and just build out the rest of these real quick here. So we'll do this one, a seven by seven again. I swear to God, I can never get this right too. I'm always like, is it seven by seven? Okay, good. And then let's go ahead and assign wheat this time. Let's not forget to give a, another farmer. And then let's speed it up here a little bit. You can always speed things up. And see, they have to clear the rocks there. You notice that that field isn't done until they clear all the rocks out of there, and now it's ready. So you'll notice that too. When you lay down a field, be aware it might need to be cleared. So now let's go ahead and assign potatoes this time. And now we need yet another farmer. Good, we've got six 
farmers. Very good. Now, the next thing, like, so they're going to collect these things, all the resources off these fields at the harvest, the fall harvest. And they're going to go ahead and put these into the barn. That barn is the storage area. Now, there's a second storage area here, too. You'll see that. This is for all of the lumber supplies, the stone, the iron, all the supplies to build buildings, that kind of thing. So what I like to do, this can fill up very easily. So what we're going to do is we're going to go click on this roads and bridges right here. I'm sorry. No, we're going to click on the homes and housing. No, where is this? Okay, sorry, here we go. Storage, markets, and trade. And I want you to click on this second thing called stockpile. And you can draw this out. There's really no dimensions. I usually draw it about that, make it about that size. Now we have extra room in case this starts to uh, fill up. And what will happen is it'll just start laying it all around the place and it'll sort of start to block things. Now let's go ahead and fill out some, actually, you know what? We're not gonna do the roads yet because the next important thing, without a doubt, is the wood cutter. Hugely important to survive the winter because people need to heat their homes, right? Okay, so, well, let's let these guys hold on. We'll let them collect supplies for a minute. <clears throat> Okay, and so what we're gonna do now is go ahead and do a couple things. We're gonna get a bunch of builders. See right here, we're gonna assign a few builders and we're gonna start building some buildings. So the first thing we wanna build, like I said, is the woodcutter. So you click on this icon right here and what we're gonna do is do the woodcutter. He's the one that gets to, that will create the, the wood, which is very important. The second thing we need to do is go ahead and create a boarding house. We're gonna go back to this home icon and we're gonna put the boarding house, let's put it right, let's put it back here. I wanna get this, you know what? We'll put it right here. Yeah, there we go. Is that a good place or do I wanna put it here? I'm deciding. I kinda of wanna keep this place open. So you know what, we'll, we'll, put, we'll put the boarding house right, see I'm already deciding where I wanna put this. Can't make up my mind for some reason. Okay, let's, you know what? We'll stick it right back here. That's fine. That's where we're gonna put it. So we're gonna put the boarding house right there. Okay, so obviously they have to clear all these material, uh, all these areas too. So let's speed things up a little bit. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and we're actually gonna put a lot into building. Right And then there's one other thing we want to build. Oh, we got our wood cutter. Okay, let's slow things down. So you see here's the speed icon. If you want to like speed things up really quick, you're being impatient and you want to get your buildings built, you can speed this up. I, in the early part of the game, I don't recommend you do that too often because things happen so quickly. Uh, so let's just take a look to, here too. You can see now that they're creating, here's the orchard that got laid down. Uh, they've laid down the potatoes and they're doing their business, which is good. Okay, so what we need to do now is assign a woodcutter. That's why we have a question mark. If you have a question mark over a building, that usually means that we have an assigned a laborer. So where's the woodcutter? He's right here, he's down here. And we're just gonna go ahead and, oh, I forgot to say, if you have no laborers, you have to free somebody up. So we have to free a builder up, builder up and then we have the option now to assign a woodcutter. And we just didn't. He'll come here and start doing his chore, which is what we want. Okay, good. Now, uh, oh, another thing too. Um, I forgot about this. There's a lot of things to this game. You wanna make sure people are working at all times. So you click on this, you highlight the resources, and they'll start to get those. That's this one. Now that removes all the resources in a given area. You can also remove them by a specific type. If you just wanted to select trees, you could do it that way. If you wanted to just select rocks, you could do that way. And if you just wanted to select iron, this is iron, by the way, and these are rocks, just a little bit different. In fact, I had a hard time figuring that out when I first started the game. But this is iron, a little bit smaller, and then you'll see these boulder type things, those are rocks. And you can see they're already selected. You see that little orange around them? That means they're selected. So people are gonna go ahead now and start clearing all the available workers that we have. They'll, they'll start to work on those. Okay, so they're laying down the boarding house, that's good. We got our, no, you know what? See, I made a mistake. I, I always do this, you gotta watch this. I actually selected the Forester. 
There's the woodcutter. Okay, that could have been a huge mistake. That could have killed us. Because and that's the thing you have to watch out for. Because I can't tell you how many times I've, I've done that where you selected the wrong guy, you weren't paying attention, and the next thing you know, you have no wood. The wood, by the way, the firewood is down here. Always keep an eye on this menu, maybe the most important menu in the game. Uh, keep an eye on your resources, what you're getting low. You can see we got food, we're starting to get food. Now, the next thing you don't want to linger on is fishing, because fishing is nice because it goes on year round, whereas we have to wait for a fall harvest. That can be quite a long time. You're sitting there waiting. And actually, you know what? I think we're going to lay down another field. As I'm talking here, I think we need another field. So let's go ahead and do that. You know what? I don't want to wait to get the resources cleared. So let's just do a 7x7 seven seven field. It gets easier, by the way, when you're aligning these against the other fields. It's a lot easier. And we're just going to go ahead and put down wheat. And we're going to assign another farmer. Remember, just keep that in mind. We got to get rid of a builder, and now we assign another, another, um, another farmer. Okay, you know what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and build the fishing village. And you can see here that's also open. That's in the same menu where we were creating the fields, and it's right over here, fishing dock. And to hit to rotate this, you hit the R button. That took a while for me to figure out, by the way, and. You sort of have to position this that we got a nice position see we can put it right there and the nice thing about this is it's really close to the barn you want to keep this as close to the barn as possible so your fishers have the shortest route okay good so now let's let this thing roll we're going pretty good here let's let's let this thing roll. and what oh, by the way they have a home icon over them right now that means they don't have a place to stay. that's why it's important to get this this um, this boarding house up first. It's nice because everybody can go in there right away. We'll talk about boarding houses in a little bit. You don't want to keep everybody in a boarding house for too long, but they're good in the initial part of the game because everybody can go in there. You don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about building house after house after house. So that's always pretty good. And you see, you can see we're doing a pretty good job getting that built. We're getting a little bit low on logs, so we may actually prioritize logs we'll see yeah and and we, we I knew we were gonna need those because um, in fact we'll uh, we'll go here and tell them to start harvesting trees yeah trees are what we need right now we got enough stone we're getting rid of all this stuff that's good all right so the boarding house is now complete good and you can see we're already low on food. This is not good already. Okay, so let's. This is why you gotta watch out for this uh, this food crisis we're already in. But we're gonna get a harvest, so that's good. But we gotta get that fishing village going, and I think we can assign a priority to that. Now, one thing I want to point out: even though you're low on food, so the barn basically doesn't have any food. Um, Gosh, you know what I hate when I get into this mode. Okay. It doesn't necessarily mean that well, you can see we've got we've we've got some some food in the barn, but even though you're low, go check your boarding house. If we go to inventory over here, you can see we've got 200 potatoes or 1000 potatoes in here. So, people are going to eat, they're not going to starve. So, just keep that in mind. Even though you might be low on that's really that message is means the barn's low on food. Doesn't necessarily mean you're low on food. So, we're okay. All right, so let's go ahead and work on the village. Now, I want to show you how to prioritize development. And what you can do is click on this right here. So with this gear icon again, you click on this arrow. You just highlight the area and say, hey, get going on that. And you'll see they'll start to move on that right away. And again, we want to continue to cut down those trees because that's important too. So let's go here. And let's just continue, let's actually just specify everything here. So we're going to get rid of all that stuff. we got to keep that wood coming in. That's important. Because we got to survive the winter, we got to have enough, you know, firewood, obviously. So right now, wood's the problem. And you can prioritize, like I said, you can prioritize resources as well, whatever you want. 
chop down or whatever if you want stones you need iron those are the three big ones iron wood and so you can see our guy's still doing his thing over here but we are definitely low on wood so we're definitely gonna prioritize that in fact yeah let's just let's keep that going and let's slow things down a little bit here now and just see what I like to do that just to take stock of the situation. So our food is definitely low. You don't want to keep the, even though we have food in here, we have quite a bit of it, you still want to keep that barn um, as full as possible, basically. All right, so now, good. We've got, we've got our fishing village. Now we need to assign a fisherman. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're just gonna go one there. We had laborers already. And let's give them two. We're actually going to assign two. We want them to get going. Now, the next critical thing I have not talked about yet, well, is uh, the blacksmith. We're going to talk about him in a minute. We're just going to let these guys do their business for a little bit here. And you can see they're all going over to that house. That's good. Oh, you know what? I wanted to build some roads, so let's let's do that real quick. So I usually just build dirt roads, and this is nice because it makes if they walk on them. Now that's the thing. I one beef I have with this game, they don't. A lot of times they don't follow the paths, but it's good to to do these because when they do it, it's not only easier for them to walk in the winter, so they're not getting as cold, uh, but it just makes them move faster, which is really nice. So we're just gonna go ahead and carve out some paths here and get these carved out. And I usually do them exactly like we're doing right now. I put them all the way around my fields and that way they, the farmers can move even faster. And yeah, we're still having a real wood issue here. So let's, let's actually, let's get them to cut down. We're gonna go here and we're gonna say Harvest these trees right here, and we're going to put a priority on that. So we're going to go back here, and we're going to say increase the priority. Boom. And so they're, they should come. Now let's see if this works. They should come to that now. Start booking over here. You'll see them start to come. Yes. So they're coming over here, and they're starting to cut down the tree. We have a wood issue right now, and I want to make sure we have enough wood because obviously we need that to build more buildings things like that okay good so you can see they're coming over here they took that priority seriously and they're starting to cut plenty of wood down now for us we need that wood. need to keep them going we need to keep those guys busy okay so we've got six fields seven fields now sorry and we've got two builders now the builder is not really doing anything so that's the other thing we have to keep an eye on make sure everybody's doing doing their thing okay so the second thing like I said I want to talk about the blacksmith now. Now, the blacksmith is really important. He keeps all the tools repaired. He needs iron. That's the big thing. So he needs iron and he needs... But these tools will eventually fall to zero. And when they do, you'll get a sign over your workers that basically they have a damaged tool or no tool at all. That obviously is a huge problem. We can't allow that. So that's the first thing we need to do here. Let's go ahead now and build a blacksmith. So we're gonna come over here and you click on this blacksmith icon and let's just put him, let's rotate him. I'm trying to think where I wanna put, put him. Maybe what we'll do, no, I like to keep him kinda of near our supply depot. So let's go ahead and we're just gonna put him right here, right, right next to the barn. And he'll be right next to this storage area so you can you can line up stuff there. Okay, good. So uh, our builders, let's make sure that they're concentrating on that. Let's actually speed this up a little bit now. The food situation is much better, of course, but we can't abandon that. We have to keep an eye on that. And eventually what we're going to do is we're going to start building some houses, but not quite yet. We're not there yet. And the, uh, the other thing is, you know, don't feel compelled. You have to build houses right away. Don't ex over expand. If you do, I've actually made that mistake. And all of a sudden, your people are starving. Nobody's eating. And everybody dies. And that's no good either. Now, you can see this little icon here. What this means is, hey, I basically, he's saying, I've completed my, I'm, my limit, which we set at 200. Let's bump that up to 300 to get him back to work. Because he'll stop working 
if he hits that limit. So let's let's get him working again. And then we're going to speed things up here a little bit. Let's actually put a priority now on the house because they're not doing anything there. Let's get that going. So we've got to get that blacksmith. You can see the tools are dropping. So as long as we don't have a blacksmith, this number will keep going down. That's another thing. You know, it's like another resource thing you got to watch out for. Um, and we're getting low on stone now. So like I said, this is a heavy, heavy resource management game. Uh, so that's the critical thing there. And we're low on food. Let's go check the... Oh, hold on a second. You know, I hate when they keep you... Should be able to right-click and get out of whatever you're doing if they don't do it. We got plenty of food stored in there. That's good. Okay. So we need some stone, and guess what? It's right here. So let's put... Let's go ahead now and put a priority on that. So we're going to collect all this stone right here. And we need to get rid of it anyways. So we'll make that the priority. We just told them to get it, but we'll, now we're going to make that the priority because we got enough wood right now. And you got to keep an eye again on that that firewood. If that starts falling, you're in deep trouble. So good, they're, they're uh, mining the, wood, the stone, and we're going to get back that stone reserve back going again, which is good. And I do want to just emphasize, let's take a look at the overall, just taking a look here, what I want to do. Yeah, I think we might keep this area and mine this entire area. And I'll tell you why we're not going to mine this area a little bit later. All right, let's slow things down a little bit now. And we're going to do one huge, and I like to do this, where you just, this basically makes sure everybody's getting resources at some point. We're going to take out that entire area eventually so somebody is going to be eventually going down there okay so we got our blacksmith and guess what we've got um we've got availability so let's go ahead and assign a blacksmith there we go good and we're going to set the tool limit up a little bit higher to 150 that's actually i, I keep it there for almost the entire game later on i'll, I'll bump that up but that's a good number, 150, and 300 is good for the for now for the woodcutter. And now our resources are looking pretty good. Um, so we just want to make sure they keep going and doing whatever it is they do. Okay, so now we've got fishers, we've got we've got a fort, we've got a we've got a um, woodcutter. Now the next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna build. A forester and what the forester it does is he keeps he keeps a forest basically populated of trees but he also cuts them down as well so well, actually you know what I lied we're gonna go for more food I, I you know what that's that's actually the key again I got I don't want to get distracted I want to add another field is I actually find it's never a bad idea to just keep adding crops so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna add a crop here field the seven by seven and we're going to go ahead and make this potato and we're going to assign a farmer good all right that works so now we've got eight fields because you do not like i said you do not want to run out of food it's a disaster of epic proportions you can you know you can recover from it but why recover from it the recovery period is a long time trust me so, you know, that rock is really bothering me, but I think he's about, look, there's a guy there. He's going to start hacking away at it. No, he's not. Okay. Well, let's actually. I wish they would have got rid of that thing. Okay, let's, let's do that. Let's just select that guy. And now it is targeted, but we'll build our path over here. You can see how... I have some OCD when it comes to this game. Okay, and we'll just put that in here. Good. Put that here, and then when that boulder is finally removed, good. And we've got nice, nice amount of uh, fields. Nice amount of fields now. Now we can start to think about a market, and we'll talk about that in expansion in a little bit. We're not going to expand quite yet. Like I said, you got to be careful about expanding now what i want to say though is while we're on the topic i want to talk about the boarding house the boarding house is good like i said to get everybody in there but you will not 
it will not lead to a growth in your population. You need individual houses for that. So children eventually will not be born in there effectively. So you need, you can't just uh, keep everybody in a boarding house. Wouldn't that be nice? But no, that's not the way it works. So you do eventually have to move out of there and we are going to in a little bit. But first things first, I wanna create a forester down here. And so that's what we're gonna do. So let's go back to here. And the Forester is the second one. And he's gonna pull up, you see this, that little, basically that orange circle? That is the entire area that is affected by him. So we're gonna stick him right in the middle because we're gonna get maximum exposure here. So we're gonna go ahead and put it down. And I think we, did we? I can't see. I think we did, yeah, okay. Let's, let's see. I think somebody's coming out here maybe we'll see I don't know what happened there but all right well let's just wait and see for a few minutes I think I put it down let's actually get rid of the resources too out here clear all these out I said I wasn't going to but I'm going to but see he can regrow the trees too so you don't have to worry about that he can actually regrow the tree, so. I think, I think it went down. I couldn't see. I wasn't paying attention. That's okay. We'll see what happens. Now, like I said, we're eventually going to need to start getting people outside of the... We need a market, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Actually, I'm going to slow this down. So we're getting a little bit low on food. Everything else is going okay, so got this builder let's just see did he come out here I could not see it I don't think that went down but that's fine okay wish I was paying more attention to that let's see you know what we can do and I wanted to show you this anyways we can cancel the structure yes it did go down so basically this is a good thing anyways you can always cancel the structure and you can see it's that far left no house sign and if you highlight over it, you can see that area in red is where we laid down the the uh, Forester building. So we're not going to do it, but that's a good way to see if you actually laid something down, and we did. Okay, so that's good. Now the second thing we want to get here is so we've got some materials coming. We've got a builder. Let's let him build that. Let's let him finish that, and let's actually put a priority on that. So we'll go back here, and we're going to tell him to get going on that. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that's all a priority now. Good. All right, so let's just let then things go along here, and we might want to bump up the wood a little bit. You can never have enough wood. So we'll take that up to 400 just so he's not sitting around doing nothing. And we'll let things kind of just go as they are for a little bit. Yeah, and again, that, that sign means he's not doing anything right now. Okay, so what we want to do now, let's see. Let's speed things up a little bit. Sometimes I do get impatient, so let's speed things up. He's cutting these things down. That's good. We've got a new laborer. That's good. So you can see here we got a new laborer. All right. And I think what we're going to do now is build a schoolhouse. Very important. So that's what we're going to do. Going to get that schoolhouse going early on. So let's go right here. Where is it? I see I always can never find this one. Okay, here it is. It's this icon right here. And the first thing you want to do is get a, where is that thing? Right here, schoolhouse. Okay, good. Let's rotate it, and we'll put that right, I think we'll put it right, we want, how close we want that, right there? Yeah, sure. Keep it close to the society. So we're gonna build it right there. There we go. And what this means is, actually when it's done, I will show you what that is, but let's actually create another builder. I'm sorry, I just got rid of the builder. We want two builders now to sort of expedite this up a little bit. Let's. 
get going here. And I've got to keep an eye on these fields and keep an eye on the food situation. That always frightens me. But we do have two fishers, so that's good. And we're going to keep that going. So hopefully that field is, uh, the Forester is completed soon enough. And they'll get work get working on the, uh, let's see what happened out here. Still no progress on that yet. Okay, that's fine. We got two builders now though, so. Okay, good. So we're collecting all the resources. You know what, I think we're gonna go ahead and put a priority on the school first. So we just told them, get going on that thing. And, because now I'm going to explain it when it's done, but we will need, oh, we got a couple more. Okay, so now, you know what? Not going to linger here too long. We're going to create yet another field. We have nine fields. I can't stress that enough. We're even, in fact, low on the amount of store of food already. So we're going to go ahead and plant another, let's do another, let's draw it up right here. And we're gonna make this one, uh, let's go wheat. Let's go wheat again. And we need another farmer. We've got availability, that's good. We got nine, good, all right. Very good, okay, so let's continue along. And we're gonna, so that'll get bring us more food. We, we're gonna start needing more food because people are gonna start getting hungry. So we just need to keep an eye on that and keep growing the society uh, effectively. Now they're working on the school very hard. That's good. Okay, good. Let's slow things down. Now, the school is very important. And actually, while we're waiting, let's create a teacher right here. There we go. Now, this is important because what will happen is new children will go in here and they'll train to be a laborer and it makes them much more effective. Trust me, if you want to get a huge civilization going, you need a school. It's a must. So it's better to get this going early rather than later. So you want to try to get that out as early as you can. Okay, so we've got nine fields, and I think that's going good. How are we doing out here? They're starting to... Okay, so let's, let's assign another builder. I want to get that going. Okay, I really want to get that forestry thing going as soon as possible. Because he'll start chucking out additional wood for us, which is always good. And I'm going to slow this down for a minute because we're going to clear and go into the broader view. So this is going to be our forester. And I might put another one over here, I think. We'll see. Okay, but we're going to at least have one to start. And so good. And I think we already have these all selected, but let's let's do it again just to make sure. No, I don't want to remove resources. I'm not what am I doing here? See, this is I was deciding yeah. Well, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do. Yeah, let's go ahead. I was I was thinking about if I wanted to do something, but I don't. All right, so there we go. Uh, sorry about that delay. Okay, so we're continuing along. We've got the school, and you know what? I think I think the wood, the amount of firewood we've got is is a good number. So we'll keep it at that for now. Let's get that forester. Now I like to um, keep one laborer available because if somebody, I meant to tell you this too. Now if somebody dies, so if one of our farmers dies and you don't have an available laborer, that position will go unfilled. But if you have an available laborer, it will automatically get filled. Now you can go ahead and do it. You can switch around labor and we'll get to that later on. But, but that's just an important point I want to make right away. Okay. And so let's, I think we selected these resources too, but let's go ahead just to make sure. I think we did. But let's just go ahead and nail those as well. Okay, good. 
All right, so let's kind of let things go here for a little bit, and we'll just let these guys collect things up. And it's going pretty good. We're still alive. Uh, you do kind of want to keep an eye on your population, so we're at 21, nice number. I've actually fallen, I think, to three or four before when I had a... Uh, basically, I forgot to monitor one of these key things, so like I said, the big one you want to keep an eye on is logs. Stone, not as much, but you do want to, you don't want it to go to zero. Iron is important, obviously. Firewood, huge. You want to keep, these are the two biggies. Firewood and food. Got to keep an eye on those two, or you could get in trouble real quick. Okay, so our lodge is building, so that's good. And let's speed it up again. Let's just see if we can... Get them, get them going here. Okay, all right, we got that done, good. Now, let's go ahead, and we've got the capacity. We're gonna go ahead now and add a Forester. One Forester, good. Now, the next thing I wanna build is one more thing, and then we're gonna start working on the town. I don't wanna linger too long without starting to work on the town. You can't wait too long. But we're gonna go ahead and build, we're gonna make an Herbalist, very, very important right actually you know what no we're gonna go make a market i'm gonna I'm not, i don't want to linger too long and i'll talk about a market in a minute it's critical for our town to have a market so we're gonna go make one and let's see where is that thing again i always forget right here okay good and we'll talk about it like i said in a minute what the market is what you're trying to do with it all that good stuff and we'll put it right, I think we'll put it right here. Yeah, that's good enough. Well, you know what? No, we'll put it right here. Okay, that's what we're going to do. You want to kind of arrange it so that you can stick houses next to it. That's the general intent. So I think what we'll do, actually... Maybe what we'll do, it probably should be in the center here. This probably isn't the best way, but I want to have room for houses because this is a tutorial. So we're just going to put it right here. Probably, I, you know, if I was taking my time and constructing this, this wouldn't be the best way in terms of layout. But we're going to go ahead and start to build the market. And then we're also going to go ahead and build a road around it. Path, not a stone path, just a path. And then we'll start connecting houses up to it. Good. And let's actually get up some paths going here now too so people can get to this a little bit easier. Good. Okay, so let's just complete the process here. I think we can go all the way down here. I don't know if anybody's going to walk out that far, but okay, there. that's good. All right, so now we've got... Let's actually make our first house. And we're going to make that out of stone, actually. One thing I like about stone houses is that you don't have to worry about fires as much. And fires, we'll talk about that in a little bit. What does that take up? 40 stone? I'm looking at the numbers here. 40 stone. Okay. Let's actually see... 16. You know what? I, I, I lied. We're going to go ahead and do a wooden house to start. So we're going to put a wooden house right there. Okay, good. And we've got three builders, so they should get going on that right away. And like I said, you don't want to linger too long on, um, on that topic. Uh, let's actually increase the uh, capacity here for our woodcutter because he's got it we got to keep him busy and got it. that firewood is very very important okay so we're continuing along here and we're going to start to construct the the market and we're going to start to make uh we're going to actually go down on a builder i think here in a minute but we'll see now like i said um the market is important because what happens is What's the best way to explain this? Okay, so we talked about the boarding house. The problem with the boarding house 
it will, well, actually, it's not a problem. The good part is when you go to the boarding house, all the food's in there, so everybody just shares it. That is a problem, though, when you get a bunch of houses, and that's where the market comes into play. He will share all the food between the houses appropriately. It makes it much easier to get food. So the vendor, that's who will work in here, brings all the food from the barn, puts it in here, and then the people from the house can get what they need. So very, very critical to have a market. Got to have a market. I didn't when I was first playing, and it causes way more problems than it's worth. So again, let's slow things down here a little bit. Let's just see how things are going out here. Good. And you can see some new trees. The foresters out there, you can see that's probably him. He's planting new trees. Very good. And we're still collecting resources. That's good. Nothing too dire. I always do a spot check once in a while. So let's look at the store tools. It's very good. We're at 73. Keep that number going. Firewood's good. Food's good. Okay. So we've got three builders and we're going to get rid of one and we're going to make yet another field i can't stress that enough i can never have enough fields so we're going to go ahead and make that and let's do let's do another orchard now you know what let's do another let's do another let's do another one right here we might have run out of room back here you can't put them up against hills just to let you know so I told you I'm terrible at drawing these things it's like oh my gosh okay that took way more time than it should have. okay so let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit and you know what we'll redirect that guy back to building while we wait for this field to get cleared remember there's that stone there so he'll have to come there and clear it. Let's actually, let's put a priority on that. So let's go here, remove stone, go back here. You guys starting to get a little feel for this and let's go here and prioritize that. So they come there and remove that stuff so we can get our field planted. Too bad, I think we're gonna miss this harvest unfortunately because it is early spring and that's when you need to plant everything. So that's, that's kind of too bad, but well, they got to actually remove it now, of course. And we're still waiting, of course. There we go. So it's removed. Let's click on it. And we're going to make this potato. And we're going to get rid of one of the builders. And we're going to get another farmer. There we go. Okay. He actually might get that down in time. He might get it down. It might not be a full harvest, but it'll be really close. Okay. Let's see how things are going over here. Good. Now, what I want to do, let's slow this down. Let's click on here. And you can see there's already people living in here. And we have a child. That's good. Must have this. Like I said, children eventually will no longer be born in here. It's just what they put in the game because then you could just make boarding houses. You'd never have to get out of there. So that's why you have to start laying down houses. Very, very important. So let's go ahead and hopefully they'll start working on the market. That's the next thing we need. Need a market. So let's see if we got any students yet. I didn't look. No students yet. But we do have a teacher. So he's sitting there waiting. But eventually that child will probably come in here as a, um, as a student. So that's good. And so I guess they're going to build this eventually. We're going to prioritize this now. So I want to get going on this. So let's do that. I think they are working on it, but let's let's go ahead and prioritize it. There we go. So we'll start working on it now because we want to get that market going. Then we need a vendor. And then we can start adding houses and try to grow the civilization a little bit. We've got lots of fields, so that's good. And our wood's good. A little bit low on the iron. We may have to look into that. Tools, though, don't usually, they don't go down too quickly. So you have time. That's a good thing. Wood can really go, wood, wood can, uh, um, firewood can go really quickly. But tools take longer. That's a good thing. You have a long time on tools. We have 100 tools. That will last a long time. I've even had it where I, haven't, I, I will actually get rid of the blacksmith for a while to go work on other things. 
and sometimes I'll redirect him to farming, that kind of thing. That's the other thing. Don't feel, um, you know, that you have to like keep keep somebody in the same profession doing the same thing. If you need like if you need food, well, you're you're gonna die right away without food. But tools, no, that's not the huge priority. What what is the bigger priority? So you may have to redirect them. And you know how to do that. You would just come here and deselect the blacksmith and add another farmer. It'd be that simple. All right, so let's see if we're getting that market down. I think we are. He's doing it. It's just taking some time. It's a big thing to build. That's not an easy one. It takes a little bit of time. You can see we're low on food again. So that's why I keep this event log. you got to watch that. But let's go check. Let's take a look at the boarding house. I mean, we've got got some food in there let's make sure some food over here they've got some food so it's not as dire as it looks and we're gonna have the fall harvest coming up here pretty quickly so but you may want to start to think about hey I might need to start adding an additional field you know that that's something you might have to think about we got 10 farmers maybe we need another one you know Let's see. We got the student. Okay. All right. I think, you know what? We're going to stop here, and I will continue on. If you like the tutorial, I will continue on with some further things that you can do. But we'll stop it here, and we'll continue on in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.